Oh, they have total support from all of us. That's for sure. Well, that's great. So at least you got a built-in audience. No yeah, matter yeah. You yeah, our bar tabs so. are pretty high. <laughs> so is anybody coming with you guys on tour? Or uh, My dad is going to be driving um, the whole way. And then my mom, she lives in New York, so she's going to be coming to a few shows. She might come to the Pittsburgh and a few in New York. And then uh, Bones' mom is coming to Pittsburgh. And Orlando. And Orlando. Yeah, I always see your mom posting on stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. so. <laughs> <laughs> She's posted. Well, yeah, you can see it here. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, she is. Hey, but that's awesome, man. You know, and I, I had a single mom and shit. You know, so it was hard for her to support what I wanted to do. She was like, "Yeah, do whatever you want, just don't get in trouble." So I had the freedom to do it. Just, you know, didn't always have the funds to support it. So I went to acting school when I was a kid and shit. I could have did commercials. Um, I got a part in a commercial, but I couldn't go because my mother had to work. She, she would have got fired. So it was either do the fucking fruit roll-up commercial or whatever it was, or my mother loses a job. Yeah. So it's it's rough, but at least you guys got support and shit. So that's cool. An- another big with- thing with family is I remember when uh, Alex and I were like starting at his dad point. So I was like, all right, now the only way this is going to work if you guys are family. And like the band's a family. So that's how we right. it. It's like we're all one big to my adopted children. Yeah. <laughs> and he took us to New York the first time because That's we cool. would have lost. Yeah, he was our tour manager. Again, got us upgraded for free. I had to explain the fire. Yeah, and then yeah. He, he br- we, we burned yeah. that mother down for him. It kind of looked like your shirt right now. Oh, like. The Godzilla. <laughs> oh, that, like vape. It was a vape of Godzilla. Yeah, so, but, but I tell you. I tell him, yeah, but he might we, stop the pictures. We have our parents to thank for everything, man, because mm-hmm. I mean, like, seriously, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without their support or, you know, no. but exactly. My you dad know, gave it's me just, <laughs> they're, they're, they're the ones who would drive us to gigs. I remember yeah. we, before we had cars, you know, it's like, hurry up, mom, you know, we have Back to go to the thing. She's like, hold on, I'm still getting ready. And you're Thanks, just throwing right. everything in the car, just waiting to go to. To the venue, you're like, come on, and then you're there for like two people. Yeah, <laughs> you know? so, oh, we need to be on point. So your dad's a musician, or my whole family actually is a bunch. Like, my dad plays guitar, and actually, uh, it's funny when he sings. Me and him sound exactly the like. So I don't know why he didn't go into singing because I was like, yeah. So if you ever need backup, you yeah. can fill in for you. <laughs> he just gets a little stage fright sometimes, <laughs> but he comes on stage some songs and he sings mm-hmm. "Lucky 13. That's cool. Uh, That's yeah, so awesome. We try, and then. Uh, I know my mom, she plays pianos and the bells and she sings. So we're like my sisters who are all in dance, play guitar and bells and piano, like the whole family. My uncle Chuck, he's a drummer. And yeah. Are you guys nervous to go out on the road or? No, no we're, we're more excited of anything. You know, we're really looking forward to this, to this trip. It'll definitely be something new for all of us to encounter. You know, it's all a new experience for us. So we're really looking forward to it. Cool, cool. I mean... There's times I've went to go on stage, you know, the first time we, we played a couple of shows with Great White and shit when they were doing Led Zeppelin mm-hmm. covers. And uh, the first night I was like, fuck, they, they packed it. They didn't always pack it out when they were doing this, but I was like, fuck, I got to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I go, is anybody going to miss this part of the song? Oh, man. Uh, he's got a story. Yeah. We got a story. Yeah. Actually, uh, me and Bones, our old band, when we played our very first show, our singer started just he started just losing it because we decided not to play one song so he just like switched no, up yeah. like the whole lineup <laughs> on his tablet because he had a tablet for lyrics he, our first and song. then he was just like you know what I'm getting to the point you're fuck this shit I don't want to just fuck this shit and then, and, then, and then his son comes he's like six at a time he's like fuck what shit dad <laughs> <laughs> I remember that that was, That's that was a good time but uh yeah he's just Ended up playing our first show and it was good. We didn't have a bass player for a very and long time. We had a singer that had a uh, music stand. Yeah, he had, he had a stand, a music stand up on stage for his tablet. I gotta say, the coolest thing about their old band is watching them hit me. Like that was the best. <laughs> Dude, it takes it takes serious skill. Sorry, Jason. Yeah, it takes it takes serious yeah. skill though. I mean, to do that. sorry to bash on you, Duke. Cause like he he helped us out too. He, he did. Uh, sold he us did. his trailer and it was you know like, cool. Pretty like cheap price, so we got it. It was a little, little complications with it, but uh, but yeah, it was funny watching them headbang because the band would be in, in, in sync with the headbang and he'd be off. So like while they're down, funny. he's up, and it was like <laughs> or he's somewhere in between. It's like, yeah. It takes serious skill to do that. The yeah. music stand made me think of a CD I did, and the guitar player put me on the back of the cover 
holding the lyrics at rehearsal. It's like, the fuck would you put that picture on me? And then someone calls me and they're like, did you look at your legs on the back of that CD? <laughs> And I'm like, not really. Why? He goes, take. A, he cut the fuckers out of cardboard and like put them, because the way the picture was taken, he put. I I look square. I'm like, what the fuck? So every time I look at this thing, I'm like, what a dickhead. And he made like this weird collage, and you can see the glue and shit. No one knows it, but I know it. And I look at him like, what the fuck did we do? But this guy, he he, he was a good guy, but. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> he, they, they would be scared to do shows, so they'd be like, what's Jay going to do? What's Jay? We're playing in a biker bar tonight. Everybody oh. be calm. He's like, please, please don't start any trouble. It's a bi-. I fucking went right into the bar. I'm like, come on, motherfuckers. We're playing a show. Who wants to get this over with now? He was shitting his pants. They were so scared. I- our, our very first show reminds us, is, we played at a biker bar, and it was like one of those gang ones, and it's like... Wasn't it like my dudes or something? I don't, I don't think we should say the name of the place, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just remember going in, and it's all, like, gang bikers, and, like, they're like, can't wear your colors in, and all that shit. Right. And, like, everyone's, like, kind of bullying us, because, like, it's all for, like, usually older, and then a bunch of kids walk in, and, like, there's one guy who's, like, 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, and I guess he was, like, the main guy in there, but he loved us, so no one could say shit, but right. people were saying, like, Sly things, and he turned around and be like, "No, shut the fuck up! Like, we like these guys." And they're like, "Oh yeah, we, we like these guys." Then, <laughs> like, there was six of him. us. There, were, I was playing lead bass. Another guy was playing rhythm bass. <laughs> Alex was playing lead guitar, and then another Alex. We called him Nails because he always liked to paint his nails different colors. Um, yeah, so he was rhythm, but he was playing in the lead amp, and he was playing the rhythm amp. And then we had this drummer who we hired an hour before the show, who then got nervous on stage and like. Let's say he's supposed Triple to play times everything. Yeah, like it's supposed to be like quarter notes, you know. Then he'd go to like sixteenth notes or eighteen, and we're like, I like had to turn around him at one point and go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and he's like, "What? What? This is how it's played." And I was like, "More than once." No. No. <laughs> Do you guys get along with the other bands in Orlando? Or? Yeah, um, one of my favorite bands to hang out with is Kill the Sound. Another one's Mechanism. They're really cool. Like Bobby cool. Um, from Mechanism, because like I mean, I see them as you know. Like about to make it big, wow. like basically rock stars, and you know they're at Nam and they, they got a great following. They play at like what was it Rockville or Earth Day Birthday and Earth Day Birthday, and like I remember after our first show when they came, I was like, dude, man, you guys were awesome. I'm like he's talking to me, like, that's awesome. <laughs> right, <laughs> and like he's sponsored by everyone. I'm like, this is so cool. Because sometimes it's hard here. Tampa is more full on metal yeah. and not so much rock. Yeah. So there's yeah, a big we, metal community, well, and they're pretty well, tight. Yeah, Orlando's, yeah, we, it's hard for us to find a crowd that really, not I say like, I mean, bands, I guess, really, that we fit in with the genre, I mean, it's just. A lot of times it's us and then some death metal bands. Yeah. yeah. Come so, on. Huh? More of the death metal bands. I mean, we don't fit death metal. I mean, yeah, when, when a majority of the crowd is there watching the bands that. You know, death metal bands, and then there's us. Yeah, yeah. You know, they kind of lose interest. Like, I can't wait. Right. We're, we're, we're just, yeah. well, I, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to just play rock to everybody. I actually like, beg to differ on that because I I, I stick I around sometimes when they when people are playing, and then when we go on, I see people's reaction, you know. Like, they may not be headbanging or anything, but they are paying attention. They I'm are right. watching us what we're doing. <laughs> so, not- for them, I, I feel like we're. we're we're like fresh, fresh, fresh air, yeah. yeah, pretty much because you know we ha- actually have harmonies, we have melodies, you know, and I mean, you know, it, it's it's something different, you know. So yeah. Plus, you get you're gonna get a wider audience playing mm-hmm. the way you play. Not that you're doing it for the audience, but naturally, that's what you're gonna get. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna go to a death metal show. It's it's a bunch of sweaty dudes basically mm-hmm. moshing. So. <laughs> But I don't know. I always like playing to a different type of crowd. So, but I always wound up getting myself in trouble. But a lot of trouble. Oh yeah. At a, at a, um, we were just holding like a senior home. Like it was a battle of bands. We were we had this horrible management when we first started off, and it's not our manager. Our manager now rocks. Camden with CC presents. But our first managers when we first got signed, they. She sucked ass, but she had us playing at like a retirement home, and they were having a battle of bands, and all the people are just walking their dogs, 
in front of the stage. And so when we started playing, the people got pissed because the dogs started fighting with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just like, yes, That's bring the man. I remember uh, you guys were telling me a story. You guys played for a hot dog vendor on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. It was oh. supposed to be another one. When we were signed to that management, she uh, – She's like, oh, it's going to be a big Halloween celebration. There's going to be, like, costume contest and bikini contest while they're washing the cars and big-ass stage and blah, blah, blah. So we get there, and there's a hot dog vendor on a sidewalk. That's funny. And then the chicks washing cars were, like, total meth heads. Like, That's was, funny was, shit. And I remember the band that played before us sabotaged our sound. Like, they didn't let us set up all of our stuff. They're like, oh, just use ours. And then they fucked with our sound. Was it, wasn't the show, like, supposed to be some benefit or something like that? Yeah, it was like a benefit that. for cancer. So, I mean, that's why I did it, because, like, a lot of yeah. family members are affected by cancer. Right. We always do those benefits. And I just remember his second song into it, I had enough. And I just, I, like, I, like, right, let's play the last song, let's go. Yeah, and, like, we were only, like, two or three songs deep. Didn't even get free hot dogs out of it? No. no. Oh, my God. No. And then I went to our manager, and I was like, you ever pull this shit again, you're gone. And she's like, well, I didn't know. And I was like, it's your fucking job. It's your job to find yeah. out. Yeah. And I it mean, was all the way, like, it was in Lakeland. And then Manson was playing that day with Rob Zombie for the Twins of Evil tour. And right, I was, like, I was actually there. Yeah, yeah and, then, and that's the first time I took, I took my dad to see Manson. That's the first time I ever saw him, and it blew his mind. First time I saw a Zombie as well. And I just remember, like, I was so pissed. I was like, I could have got there early. I mean, I still got to see Manson and Zombie. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, I missed the first band. Well, I mean, I guess in the end it was it was still, it was, yeah, it, was, it, was it all worked out. <laughs> it was just the gas. The yeah. gas. Right. Moment. Yeah. But, I am. Yeah, I mean... You're going to run into that here and there, but like we were a little crazy. Our, our music was like Stone Temple Pilots kind of, but my antics were more extreme than that. And people would get pissed off and shit. And, uh, but, but I was a dick, so I was trying to get attention. <laughs> One time we, we played at a club and my friend owned the club. So you think he would say, hey, man, my friend from Atlantic Records is here. Watch what you do. So I'm like, who's the clown in the suit? <laughs> so I'm a, you know, I'm in my early 20s. I'm a pain in the ass. I'm crazy. I'm like, hey, dude, what's going on? You're the only guy here in the suit. I go, hey, this is for you. <laughs> Guess what? We didn't get signed to Atlantic Records. <laughs> well, damn. That puts it down around things. Yeah, yeah. No, it's rough because people try to sabotage sound. That's what they do. And we were really good live, so when the word got around that we were playing before them, you know, they try to do shit to you, so it, it's pretty crazy. That, that was like on Halloween. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which one? This Halloween. The, this Halloween, the first show you did. What was, what's the name? The Halloween show. Petri petrified oh, forest. the Petrified oh. Forest. Mm -hmm. they, they were going on stage, they started playing, and then somebody complained that the music was too loud, that the people in a haunted house... Could hear the alive. music and they couldn't get scared. So I know Alex. <laughs> Alex is playing leads. We couldn't hear anything, and f we were three feet in front of the stage. And, he was and, and it was well, oh, we we still yeah, couldn't hear. Lower. They turned everything down to less than one. I remember they but, were there complaining yeah. because people. We were outside and they're complaining that people who are outside can hear it from another parking lot. Yeah, it's too loud. I will say, this. of course, you're going to hear it outside when we're playing outside. I will say the but second night was a lot better. The second night was awesome. The second night was amazing. Well, it was like, Halloween night. Yeah, 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 actually but, on Halloween. Because I'm, I'm friends with the guy who, like, coordinates it. Barry Nadler, awesome guy. I'm trying to do some stuff with him now because he, he did really good event coordinating. But, yeah, he was a little upset, too, with the people that were in charge of the place. They were like, yeah, I got to turn it down. And Barry's like, I don't want you to turn it down. But I have to tell you to turn it down. Right. But then the second show, he's just like, dude, it's the last night. It's Halloween. Play as loud as you want. And he told me that uh, the other complaints were people were getting very violent when we started playing in the, in the haunted house. And, and that the actors were getting kind of concerned because the people were starting to get rough. When we were playing, I was like, good. That's, that's great. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. It was a lot of fun. The second night, I mean, the first night was great because we got to play with Kill the Sound, and mm -hmm. that was cool. But the second yeah. night was so much fun. Barry got a fire dancer, so we got to play in front. And then we almost, that, that one kid and. Uh, oh, that little boy he brought up on stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. That kid was awesome. Yeah, and he can't, he's just like, can I come up on stage? Or he wanted to sign something. We yeah, he, sign no, something. he bought a CD and he wanted you to autograph it, thought you were God. And he just stared at he stared at you for like three or four songs, and then he pulled the boy up on the stage for one of the last songs, and talk about a kid that was starstruck to him. Yeah, that kid he, was like the kid froze, 
Joshua, his name, I think it was. Yeah, and Elijah, he was, Elijah, 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 that's it. Elijah. And he was just staring at him on stage, and he was blown away. Mm-hmm. And the look on his little kid's eyes, like, you know, rock just hit him in the head. Yeah. It was I'm awesome. I'm actually going to use him, and we're doing a, putting a music.